Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing with you some of my current favorites. I like to call these videos things that I'm loving right now just because I do them sporadically. I don't do them every month. I do them when I feel the need to share some good stuff with y'all. So if you're interested in seeing some of the items that I've been loving the past few months, then just keep watching. So first up, let's talk about the jewelry that I've been loving since I got it. <laughs> so the jewelry that I'm talking about is from Ana Luisa. These pieces were sent to me, but I love them. And if you've been following me on the stories from Instagram, then I'm sure you've seen me wearing them because I literally have not taken them off except for the ring. Uh, I haven't taken them off since I received them. So thank you, Ana Luisa. If you've never heard of Ana Luisa before, they are a luxury jewelry company that has handcrafted pieces that are made here in the US and also in France. And not only are they luxury, but they are affordable luxury and they focus on using sustainable and ethical methods of manufacturing. So if you're interested in Ana Luisa or any of the pieces that I'm mentioning, make sure you check out the description box. I will be leaving a link and a discount code for you guys. And if you're interested, you might as well go ahead and use that discount. <laughs> so the first piece that I have is a ring and this is the Chloe ring. And I only remember that because my daughter's name is Chloe. <laughs> but i love this ring it is a nice a braided beauty now unfortunately i ordered in the wrong size because i didn't follow their directions and actually measure my finger <laughs> and i got the wrong size but i've been liking to wear it as like a knuckle type ring so i'll switch fingers just depending on how i'm feeling but i really like it it is simple but it also still stands out the braiding makes it just look classic and expensive and i also like that it's more, this particular gold on this piece is more of like an antique gold it doesn't look cheap at all and i like that it's not super shiny it's just it's just really well done the next piece is this bracelet i have been wanting a beaded bracelet for forever and i wanted one that was not going to break the bank but also one that i felt like could stand up to a lot because i wanted to be able to wear it all the time and here we are i really love this one it is a small beaded bracelet i am thinking about getting another one to maybe wear a small stack <laughs> um but we'll see but i really like it it is adjustable and i've really been enjoying this like i said i've been wearing this in the shower in the pool and it looks perfectly brand new now my last and favorite piece is this necklace this is like a puffed heart necklace. Not sure of the exact name, but I will list it down below, but I absolutely love this. I love that the heart is not hollow <laughs> um, because if it was hollow, you could kind of push it and it would dent. This heart looks perfectly brand new. There's not even any scratches. I also love the chain because of the sparkle. Do y'all see that? I don't know if you can tell on camera, but in person, I feel like this really catches the light on my skin. You could remove the heart if you want, um, which is another thing I like about it because you could wear this at just as like a layering piece or you can add a different pendant if you want to switch it up. But I really love the heart. I love hearts. I know it may seem a bit childish, but I've always loved hearts and I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. While we're on the topic of accessories, let's talk about these sunglasses. I probably should have cleaned them, but that's okay. I have been wearing them a lot. <laughs> I've worn these to the pool. I've worn these running errands. I've worn these on my way to work. <laughs> and that's pretty much the only places I've been going, but I absolutely love these. Now I do love a good luxury sunglass, but it's nice to have a cheaper pair like this one that I can just throw on whenever. And I also feel like it goes well with so many things. Um, so these are from Amazon. I will link them down below, but I really love these because they're lightweight, they're stylish, um, but they are easy and carefree and you know, they're getting the job done right now. I can't speak to as to how long they will last <laughs> um, because you know, they are only like $12, but for now I'm loving them. And if they break, I will just order another $12 pair. <laughs> I'm saying $12, but I didn't check the price today. Y'all know Amazon prices go up and down. So they were like $12 when I bought them. So next up, we'll talk about the little bit of makeup that I have. I, I honestly have not been wearing makeup much, like many of you probably because of the mask. So typically I wear makeup if I have like a date or I'm filming a video. That's 
pretty much the only time I've been wearing makeup. So that's why I really don't have many makeup favorites. But I do have a couple. Um, first one is this Gucci mascara. I'm wearing it today. I picked this up during a Sephora sale earlier this year and I finally got around to opening it and I really, really like it. In my last favorites video, I mentioned the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara and I still really like that, but I used it up and then I opened this one. And this one to me gives me volume and definition. It is a pretty expensive mascara, so I'm not sure that I would repurchase this if it's not on sale, but I have really been enjoying it and I love the like va va boom it gives my lashes. So this is the Gucci Love Score Mascara. The only other makeup item I have to show is actually super new, but I wanted to share it because who knows when I'll do another one of these videos and I only need like one day of wearing this type of product to know if it's a favorite, <laughs> but this is uh, a gloss from Sephora. This is part of their gloss collection. And I think these are relatively new, but the shade that I have is hashtag blessed. I'm wearing it today, but it's this beautiful like pinky or this taupey nude color. And I just feel like it goes really nice with my skin tone and it's really comfortable. I don't get that little white line. It's not sticky. It feels very smooth on the lips and it does not accentuate any dryness or make me look too washed out. I really, really like it. And I just feel like it's an easy reach. I have not been wearing much lipstick because even if I am going on a date, the mask will cover it. So I've been pretty much just sticking a gloss and I can't wait to get some more use out of this one. I have one nail polish that I want to share with you guys and this one is from Nail Addict. You might have seen me do an unboxing on one of my vlogs. I'll try to link it in the cards. But this was my favorite product from them. This is the color Not A Shame and it is a gel glitter polish. So of course I'm not wearing it today but I think I do have a picture so I'll try to insert it here for you guys. But I like this because it is a pretty opaque glitter. So I applied this using two coats, but you probably could get away with one coat, um, especially if you put another color underneath it. But I like it because you can just wear like the two coats and you don't need a color underneath it. It looks like you have a color underneath, but you, you just have a bunch of glitter, if that makes sense. And I really, really like it. I also like that it's smooth. I was a bit worried about it because I had never really done a gel glitter before. But after like I applied my top coat and all, it felt smooth to the touch. It didn't snag on anything. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed wearing this. And I may even, I did it as an accent nail when I wore it before, but I may even try it on all of my nails. We shall see. <laughs> but yeah, I highly recommend this shade, Not a Shame from Nail Addict. I had a discount code when they sent this to me, but I'm not sure if it's still active, but if I can find it, I'll leave it down below. Next up, I have three fragrances I want to share with you guys. Now, y'all know I try to limit myself to three fragrances in these videos because I'm always switching fragrances. Really hard for me to pick favorites because I have so many and I rotate them constantly. But there have there are three that I want to share with you today that I feel like I've been going back to over and over again. So first up is an oldie but a goodie, and this is none other than YSL Black Opium. This I have gone through probably about two or three bottles of this previously, and if you can tell it's all the way down here now. So this one is almost gone. And actually that's kind of the reason I started back picking it up and wearing it because it's almost gone. I was like, I should just go ahead and finish it. So I started wearing it to bed and I remember why I used to love it so much. It's so nice. Now I know a lot of people don't buy black opium anymore because it's too popular and all that. But to me, it smells really, really good. It's not the most long lasting in my opinion, but I've been really enjoying wearing it to bed. And I think my husband has enjoyed that too. <laughs> but it's just a nice, sweet, like coffee, gourmand fragrance. Everybody smell black opium. I don't need to spend a lot of time on this, but it's almost to the point that I feel like I wanted to use this up to get rid of it, but I kind of like, I don't know. I may repurchase it. I don't know. Um, we'll see. But anyway, why I sell black opium. The next two are new-ish to my collection. Um, this one here is from Fragrenza. I did purchase this and I will be doing a Fragrenza video on some fragrances they sent me and the whole collection that, well, all the ones that I have. 
So look out for that video. But this is one, the first one that I purchased and what made me really fall in love with the brand. And this is called Limon e Vaniglia. I believe this is supposed to be a dupe for Zerjoff Lira, uh, which I've never smelled, but this one is absolutely amazing. It smells like lemon cookies. Oh my gosh. Mm, this just, this makes me want to eat a lemon bar so bad, y'all. It's so good. It's sweet, and but it's also tart from the lemon and it just smells edible. I, I love wearing this one to bed as well. Um, I haven't been wearing it when I go out too much, like during the day because it's so hot here, but I have worn it to work and it worked really well for that on me. I believe it lasts around like six to eight hours. So I feel like that's really good longevity on my skin. And when I wear this overnight, I do smell it in the morning when I wake up, but I really, really like wearing this one to bed. But when it gets a little bit cooler here, I will be wearing that bad boy throughout the day. <laughs> and then the last one is one that I feel like I've been wearing a lot. It's an easy reach for me. I get a lot of compliments on it. Not that that makes a difference for me, but I actually just really love the way it smells. And this is from MFK. I'm not saying the name. Uh, it's Gentle Fluidity Gold. And this, it's just beautiful. It is like a creamy vanilla but it's also sparkling. And you can definitely smell some freshness in it, like some herbal qualities to it. I believe that maybe the juniper berries in it, but I absolutely love this one. There's something about it that gives me everyday vibes, but at the same time, it's different. And I think that's why people notice it. It's a very likable scent, but it's not like every other fragrance out there, if that makes sense. It's not like, everything you go into Ulta and smell if that makes sense so yeah I've really been enjoying this and I feel like it's just nice to have in my collection it's one of the easy reaches that I happen to love so hopping off fragrances going to body care I do have a lotion I want to share with y'all and it's this one <laughs> this is the up and up brand extra repair unscented body lotion so if you are a fragrance lover, then you know you need an unscented body lotion in your stash so that you can layer it with fragrances and it, don't, it doesn't like interfere with whatever you're wearing. So I had actually bought this for my husband because he ran out of lotion. I bought it for him. I am, I don't, I don't wanna say I'm bougie when it comes to lotion, but I never buy store brand lotions. My skin is very dry, so I have to be careful Well, my body skin is dry. I have to be careful with lotions I put on my body because a lot of them just don't work and I get ashy y'all. I get really ashy. <laughs> so I would never buy a store brand for myself. However, my husband has that nice like supple moisturized skin so he can pretty much use anything and he doesn't care what kind of lotion he uses. So I bought it for him. This is like $2. I ran out of my lotion. I use this and now I am hooked. I've per I think this is my second time purchasing it for myself at this point. I've actually been using it on my kids too. Noah has eczema and this has been working really well for him as well. Uh, so I switched between this and a heavier lotion for him just depending on if he's having a flare up. But like on a daily basis, he's using this too and I just can't say enough good things about it. It is not like cheap, it's good texture. And it's two dollars like what who like i haven't bought a two dollar lotion for myself since probably like high school really 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 so yeah i had to tell y'all about this because i felt like how come nobody told me about this this is amazing for two dollars and it, it just does the job so i wanted to share this with you guys I also like the fact that it's it's moisturizing, but it's not super heavy where I feel like it's sticky um, putting on my clothes. So, The next product I have is a hair product, and this one is from Melanin Hair Care. This is the multi-use softening leave-in conditioner, and I do have a hair care video coming up. I already filmed it, but this one, this video you're watching now will probably go up first, so... I don't know, we'll see which one goes up first. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've really been loving this. I got this a few months ago and I, I like to use it as a leave-in conditioner. I don't typically use it as a rinse out because it's kind of expensive for that, but I did try it as a rinse out and it works beauty beautifully for that. It really helps to make my hair feel moisturized and that moisture lasts until I need to rewash my hair. 
and then I also like that it's, it makes my hair very easy to detangle. So yeah, I highly recommend this. I'm really glad I stepped out and took a chance and bought this product. Um, if y'all don't know, Melanin Hair Care was created by Whitney here on YouTube, um, Natural85. She's one of the first like natural YouTubers I started out watching years and years ago. So shout out to her. I actually really love, <laughs> really, really love this product. I know a lot of times when YouTubers and all make products we don't really trust them <laughs> but I, that one is really good in my opinion it works really well for my hair. so this last product is not one that's new to me i've actually used it off and on for years and i actually showed it to you guys in my last vlog video but i felt like i needed to mention it here this is from drug elephant it's called the a passioni retinol cream and this is my retinol of choice i like to use this at night not every single night but most nights at this point at least probably about four days a week um just depending on how i'm feeling to be completely honest but i took a break from using this because i honestly do not like purchasing it it is expensive i think it's 70 dollars for one ounce um so that's pretty expensive but for me i just feel like i really noticed a difference of not using this even though I switched to a different retinol product, um, and I don't think I don't think there's anything wrong with that retinol, but I just feel like this one it does me right. This retinol cream helps to keep my skin looking supple and smooth, and it feels smooth to the touch. I really like Drunk Elephant products. I don't use like all Drunk Elephant, but this is one of my favorites from the brand. This is the top two. Um, the other one that I really love is Baby Facial. Um, I'm not showing that today because we're just talking about this one, but I know I've shown baby facial so many times, but the retinol cream, I definitely noticed the difference when I did not use it as opposed to using it. So yeah, I'm just going to keep repurchasing this guys. <laughs> I love it. And I highly recommend this if you're in the market for a retinol. So that is it for my favorites today, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. Please make sure you are following me on Instagram. I have a new account. I feel like I keep mentioning it, but I'm really trying to build that account up. So y'all can help me out by following me there. I'm very active on Instagram stories and I've really been enjoying interacting with y'all that way. Also, please make sure you check out the description box below. As always, I'll be linking all the products that I mentioned, including my Ana Luisa pieces. And I'm telling y'all, y'all need to get your hands on these. Um, and I'll have my discount code for Ana Luisa down below. So again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what your favorite product was over the past couple of months. Let us talk about it down below in the comment section. And please make sure you're subscribed. I will see you in my next video. Bye.